Yeah, How are you doing today? Doing great yourself, D-Lad? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Um, just the Saints, you know, last time the special teams, uh, you know, didn't turn up as big, but, uh, uh, you know, Myers seems to have settled their field goal kicking situation, and Harris is always a threat. Uh, you know, what are some of the things you got to do to make sure you don't let him loose, and, uh, you know, and then the good kicking game that they got? Well, overall, their special teams unit, they're well-rounded. From top to bottom, when you talk about core players, their specialists, and then you talk about their dual returner with Harris, um, it's going to be a great challenge as it is every week, but particularly going against this team and how aggressive and how sound and how physical they are in all aspects of the special teams game. Um, I look forward to the opportunity to go out there and try to affect any kick or punt as possible, be able to do a great job of you know uh, corralling and keeping leverage on Harris and then making sure that we could help our offense out in the return game. So all phases, we're looking at, you know, it's all hands on deck when it comes to this, and it's a great opportunity to finish the season with the win in our stadium. How difficult was it last week with the juggling and making sure, it, you know, you didn't know who you were going to have to ride up, you know, to game time, I guess, with, with uh, the COVID situation last week? It goes back to we keep a small menu, big understanding, and our roster continues to evolve You know, each and every week. And it's the next man up mentality. And it starts with the, our head coach, Coach Smith, and the mindset that he brings to, to our organization when it comes to our players. Anybody that's on our roster has the opportunity to play on any given Sunday. So having that opportunity for our players and our guys are being staying ready and being prepared before the opportunity presents itself, um, it speaks volumes to our players and speaks volumes to our head coach when it comes to that. But it worked out well for us. You know, obviously we want to come out with a win, but the guys were ready to go, and they were they gave it all, and they played their heart, you know played their hearts out when it came to the game. The Saints folks are talking about Thomas. Uh, is he since he uh, uh, you know has any uh, you know feelings about playing this former team here? Obviously, when you play a former team or you go against a former organization where you were for a while, um, you might have you know some type of feeling or some type of way. But I you talk to Thomas, it's, it's another game. It's another opportunity to put his best foot forward for our team, for our organization, and for our special teams unit. It just so happens we are playing the Saints. So you know Thomas is excited to go out there to play w with his teammates that he has here in Atlanta and go out there and perform at a high level come Sunday. How have you seen uh, Avery evolve in his rookie year? Again, I'll say, you know, he really works. He really puts in the time and effort to get better at, you know, his basic fundamentals, understanding the game, you know, because college special teams is a big difference in uh, NFL special teams. So understanding the rules, understanding, you know, his opponent, understanding the, the kickers and punters that he's going against week in and week out. And he continues to get better at reps. And it shows with his preparation. You guys see him, you know, he's out there, one of the first guys out there catching balls, working on certain fundamentals. He'll come and have extra meetings. But it's not a surprise when he has success on Sundays when he's uh, putting in the preparation before the opportunity even presents itself. So uh, it's a big testament to who he is as a person and how he pre prepares each and every week. So, But he continues to get better. From the outside looking in, it almost kind of really seems like even in year one, he's kind of reached the vision of what you guys drafted him to be. Um, do you kind of feel that way, that he's on the way to, to kind of reaching the ultimate vision of what y'all thought he would be? You know, his role will continue to evolve. You know, he makes what his whatever his role is going to be, whether it's now or down the road. You know, as we talk about this season and getting ready for this last game, um, he continues to get better with reps. I, that's the best way I can say it. And, you know, his best days are yet to come. You know, even talking about today, I'm excited to see him go out there and have, have a practice. And, you know, whatever his reps are, whether it's at defensive back, whether it's in the return game, coverage units, um, each and every day he continues to get better, and it shows with the work that he puts in. But, you know, his vision, I, I say it's limitless. And that's, I say that for a lot of players because we always strive and we always strain to push them, you know, past their potential and try to get them better each and every day. And that's our job as coaches. It's, and it's pretty cool and it's pretty um, it's, uh, rewarding to see guys have success both on and off the field. So I'm, I'm excited for him, Tori. Coach Marquis, the Saints-Falcons games are always super, super competitive, and a lot of times they get to be really close. So I was kind of listening and reading some articles on Young Boy Cool the last couple of days, and I'm thinking, how important is it, or just how good is it for you to know that you have a weapon like that, especially if this game, game comes down to, you know, the wire in the end? You know, anytime you have a, a, a player that could contribute to points on the board, 
they're very important. It just so happen we have a, a player like Young Way. He does a great job of you know being consistent and being effective when when making his kicks and kicking off too, and his coverage ability. So those yeah, it is important when you have somebody that can help directly put up points on the board and they're consistent at their job and they have the great mindset and they have short term memory to go out there no matter they're playing in adverse conditions, if it's end of game in the half situation or you know it's just a regular PAT. They're consistent with doing their job and they're reliable and we can count on them day in and day out. And from your special teams perspective, I know we don't want to look too far into the offseason or next year, but how do you balance that in terms of making sure the team is competitive and special teams is staying focused on this game, but evaluating players to see where they could potentially fit for you next season? The biggest thing, Tanitra, is being in the present. Like, I can't even think about tomorrow until we get through today. You know, we, we win today and we make sure we have our best practice of the year come today. So to answer that question, you know, we'll get there when we get there. But our number one um, job right now and our number one responsibility is to win a home game versus a divisional opponent, which is the Saints. And our guys are fired up. You know, we had a great meeting this morning, offense, defense, and special teams. And we're excited about practice come today. Even uh, going back to camp, you guys have used so many different uh, punters, right? I mean, five or six maybe. Yeah. Uh, what What are some challenges of having that many guys? And ha has Thomas kind of maybe finally stabilized things a little bit? Well, I think the, the biggest challenge is not actually having the punter, but it's the process. Because not only does that punter, he has to do a great job of punting the ball and marrying our coverage protection with how he punts the ball, but he has to hold for coup as well. So that whole process of getting those guys on the same page when it comes to holding, comes to our cadence, how we operate on the punt team, the logistics from the sideline, how we, how we communicate on the sideline, how we get on the field, the different checks that we have. That whole process takes time, and you can't take any shortcuts within that process. So that's been the biggest challenge for us. But again, it's uncomfortable, but it allows for our team and our special teams unit and our specialists to grow greatly from the, those uncomfortable situations. And that's where we gain our experience from. So even though you know there was little, it, it was hard going through those certain processes, you know, day in and day out. But we didn't take any shortcuts, and it makes it worth it. And you can see the success that the specialists are having this year. Kind of following up on what Scott's saying about uh, just the changes at punter, how, what is it about Young Way Koo that's able to just stabilize with all of that constant change? I think his experience, you know, his experience, he didn't have, you know, the glory road, he didn't get drafted. He got cut his rookie year after he beat out a kicker. He was on the street for about a year and a half, went to a different league to play, and then got the opportunity in the middle of the season here in Atlanta, I believe in 19, correct? And then had his opportunity. And, you know, and then also then last year went through a coaching change after having a great season. So those experiences and going through those peaks and you know valleys and going through his ups and downs, it really made him a stronger individual. It really did, and you can ask him through his experience throughout this journey throughout the NFL, because there's times as a specialist where he like, man, that might have been my last game in the NFL, but he stuck to it, he kept working, he stayed in the present, and he found his process and how he operates, and he's operating at a high level, and he never forgets where he came from. Every time he walks through that tunnel, it, it reminds him like, hey, I got to you know, put my best foot forward, and I don't want to go back to where I was before. So he has humble beginnings. He understands where he came from, and he st continues to stay humble. So he doesn't get humbled, So if that makes sense. So he does a great job of that, and day in and day out, and I love working with him as all the other guys in the locker room. He does a great job being a leader by example, and he's a man of high character, high integrity. Anything else? Okay. All right. Cool. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Take care.